Hello guys, it's Angelina and Dima here from Walking Nature World and we continue adventures in Dolomites. If you remember the last time we came to you from the village Brunico where we spent the last several days at the campsite and it's been extremely rainy days and kind of cold and so we have to wait for the weather to get better. Today is finally the day when the sun is shining and it came out from the clouds and so it means we can continue hiking. Yesterday we came to Misurina, camp in Alabaita, where we spent this night and it's been super super cold. As you can see we have have all warm clothes on us and temperature drop to zero degrees at night. We weren't ready for it to be honest <laughs> with you and we have kind of a summer kit, sleeping bags and sleeping pads so we had to ask for the blanket at the reception, fortunately they had it and so we could survive this night. <laughs> In the mountain there is a first snow in the season and they look very pretty with it. So today we are doing one of the most popular hikes in the region, Trecima de Lavaredo Loop, which is a circle around three famous rocks. It is around 10 kilometers in total and will probably take us around three hours to complete. But we are planning to do a lot of photography as well as video shooting of course, so it will probably take us more as usual. So get ready for lots of snow, exciting trail and let's begin! now by bus and I wanted to share with you the ways how you can get actually here to this parking. The way you can get here by the public transport is there is a bus that you can take either from Tobiaco station, train station or from Cartina d'Ampezzo train station as well. And the price for them is the same, it's 8 euros one way and 8 euros back, so it costs 16 euros with the return ticket. Also you can get here obviously by car, but parking is for a fee and it costs 30 euros to park here for a day. So considering the price is around the same for the bus and the car if you are going with two people. For one person it's cheaper by bus. And also if you can hike up from Missoulina to Trecime and back from Trecime to Missoulina, you may save half the price and pay only for the short ticket. It costs 4 euros. So there is multiple ways to get here. The clouds are so close here. That is so incredible, one of the best feelings ever when you're so close to the clouds and you almost can't touch them. We 
think we chose the coldest day to do one of the highest hikes in the region. We've done out of all the hikes. It feels like it's only five degrees here and the air is very cool. There is a cold wind blowing. But yeah, at least uh, the weather should be sunny today. I'll be alone or like partly sunny. So no rain today. It's no rain. <laughs> So the route has been pretty easy so far, with no uphill at all, and the views are amazing all around, 360 views, and not only the Trichime, but the other rocks as well, really scenic. Unfortunately, there is no snow on the trail, we were concerned about it, but there is no snow. There is a lot of wetness though, and we think that at night there could be some snow, but now the sun has melted. So now we can see a little bit of uphill in front of us, let's go for it. Sure enough, we didn't hike long till we saw the snow. It is closer than it seems, for real. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now we turn to the classical view of the Trechi de Alvarado, which you normally see on photos, and now we recognize it because before we weren't sure that these are exactly these rocks. There are so many others around you that you get mixed, but these are the three peaks. <laughs> at the middle point of our hike. Already did half the distance for today. Now the trail basically turns back to the parking and we'll be hiking along the rocks on the other side. Also now we're at the highest point of the trail at 2,500 meters, getting the best views of the rocks. And the rocks itself are over 3,000 meters. So no wonder why the tops are always in the clouds. From this point on, we'll be only going downhill. You can see that here in the area close to these three rocks there are plenty of other trails to take also, especially in the nice weather, but most of them are more challenging and more mountain type of paths, so you should go there prepared. Also through this place passes the Ardevia number 4, which is the high mountain track of Dolomites out of 8, which is very challenging too.
So we finished our trail through Chima de Lavaredo loop. It was quite an easy one to do. Not so many uphills and downhills. Yeah, exactly. And even though the area seems to be very rocky and challenging, it wasn't the case with this trail. It turned out to be very easy and was a surprise for us. It felt like walking along the rocks on an easy chill out trail. Also, you have so many other different trails to take in the area. You can choose the difficulty of the trail. You can go more uphill, choose the mountain pass which will be more challenging if you prefer that. But it still took us more than three hours to do this trail. It actually took us five hours because there are so many different views and landscapes in the area to enjoy. Also, we got very lucky with the weather. There weren't too many clouds. And in the end, we even got all the Trechime all clear without any clouds. So that was really a luck. And there was no rain, which is the most important thing. <laughs> and unfortunately, this is one of the most top popular trails in the region. That's why it's quite crowded even in September. Where doing it at the start of September but there's still quite a lot of people and it was quite challenging to film of course but this is one of the only disadvantages you have to deal with in all of the popular places so this is the reality of it also we're so glad that we finally could spot the marmots that was the first time in the Dolomites because this is quite a rare sight and this hike was the last in the series of hiking in Dolomites we enjoyed this time quite a lot we've been here for three weeks and we have quite a lot of impressions to tell you about so we'll make another separate video that will be following this video telling you about all of our impressions sharing our tips when traveling in Dolomites and overall sharing our experience so if you want to know the whole experience of us hiking in Dolomites Make sure not to miss this video. Now we got down from the mountains. We're at Garda Lake, spending several days here at the campsite. And we're so happy to come back to summer again. We've been freezing in the mountains. Yeah, we had really bad Arctic air coming to us. And yeah, it freezed us to hell, especially at night. And now we're back in summer. Here it's still 20, 25 degrees. And some people are still swimming in the lake. So it's really nice here. And now we have a long journey back to Spanish Pyrenees ahead of us. We want to move along the Mediterranean sea coast crossing Italy, France, and then getting back to Pyrenees. And we think we're going to film a small movie documenting all this journey and sharing it with our subscribers. We're not planning to do a lot of hiking though. This is gonna be just us moving, taking the blah blah car and moving from one campsite to the other. And so we plan to do the whole journey in two weeks. So we'll see you somewhere on the way. Make sure to watch our separate video about our impressions in Dolomites. Yes, make sure not to miss it. And we'll see you very soon in our next video. Bye guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this hiking trip. If so, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon!